All right, we're back. So I spotted this this weekend when I went and did that other hunt. The grass is low, and so I kind of caught this with my eye here. I'm just gonna walk the foundation so you can kind of see what I'm seeing. But I put some binos on it and I was like, yeah, looks like a foundation to me, sure enough. Anyways, there's my first target. I mean, so far, we haven't been here very long, but it's mostly nail iron so far, but then what he says he's got a... Face to a pocket watch. Oh yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. So we got a little action. A little something, something. Let's find out what these guys dropped. So we didn't find that much near that foundation. I'm starting to think that was an outbuilding for the livestock. You know, it was actually a pretty big foundation when you think about it. Usually the houses are a little more modest, but I'm a little ways away from it and I just hit a can or a jar lid, so maybe it's in here somewhere. So Dinwiddie gave me the call. He said, hey, I found the foundation for the house. And if you kind of look in this little depression right there, that's, I think, where the cellar hole was. But check it out. I just made my way over here and I got a spoon. Awesome. Yeah, you just gotta figure out what's going on with these sites. That happens sometimes. You're like, oh, look at this awesome foundation. And it was just the, just the horse shed. Yeah, that's 1919. All right, then what he got himself a weedy. Pretty one too. Oh yeah, that's well preserved. Mm -hmm. Cool. I guess Dinwiddie also already got a clock and it's got two winders on it. I got two clocks. Oh, yeah. Another one here. These people were prompt. Man, I think I got something neat here. Oh yeah. You know what? <laughs> That might be the coolest one of these I've ever found. That is a sash buckle. And that one's amazing. I've never seen that style. Let me get you in the sun. Dang. I think it even had a little gold gilt on there. How crazy. That's beautiful. Gunner is just a stick monster. But I cleaned it up a little bit for you guys. Yes, this is only half. Uh, like I was just talking about Didway saying if you had the other half, it'd make kind of a heart. Wow, that thing's pretty. Man, these people had a little bit of money. The cooler for nails is broke, but. Dude, that's a man, sweetie. That one's like in perfect condition there. You can clean that up. And and put a new handle on it and it'll be beautiful. Dang, not bad. Yeah. It's a pretty one. Awesome. Dang, I think I got another spoon. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Well, this place is really starting to pay off. Well, I got my first button. It's a Cones Boss. Man, I had so many of those the last couple of years. I used to Kind of give them a little sarcasm every time I found one. Well, it's been so long since I found a Cones Boss. I'm actually enjoying it this time. Yeah, this one's actually a little, little bit fancier than, than normal. All right, maybe I found out where they threw their pants, or maybe this is where they used to dry them. There's another Cones Boss. So this one says, like, Cohen St. Paul, another suspender button. Well, that's an interesting lid. I don't know, maybe... Off some sort of makeup cover or something. Looks like I had a little bit of silver wash on there too. I really kind of like digging up some of this big iron. I love when it has writing on it and stuff. It's cool. And this turns out to be a lid for a butter churning machine. How awesome is that? A little for silver. Boy, that's a nice looking spoon, buddy. Yeah. It's got an 18 and like a Star of David on the back. Rockford or something. 
Dang, I don't know. It's awful clean. Boy, it's really looking like sterling to me. Yeah. But just kidding, this is trash. I'll I'll hang on to it. That's alright. <laughs> sterling. Dang, dude. I don't know, it's pretty though. <laughs> I mean, you don't really see anywhere where the plating's coming off. I don't either. I think you get. What's it ringing? Really it's not ringing as high as what this. Yeah, hey, that is a little suspect, isn't it? Yeah. You think if it was sterling, it'd be ringing more like a quarter. So I got the number 18 and then like the star David behind it. Huh. Well, I think for now, well, you know, right in the spoon bowl it looks a little suspicious. Yeah, yeah I think I see some copper. copper coming through in the spoon bowl. But no matter what, man. It's still beautiful. That's an awesome spoon. Yeah. Congrats, dude. Thanks. Yeah, that's pretty. Man, I really got into the suspender buttons. Crazy. It's not good. All right. You want to come scan, show the numbers over here? Okay. There you go. Wow. Live dig time. That's uh, sounding delicious. Boy, I don't want to hit it, whatever it is. It's in the plug. I see something. Uh -oh. oh, what is it? You know what? I think it is something cool. I think it's some sort of big token. Looks like. Dang. <laughs> I like the prospects of that even better than it being in the silver oh, quarter. <clears throat> yeah. See if I can get my brush out. Ah, oh, that's so cool. You know what? I think we're just gonna have to clean it up and then get back to them. That's cool though. So, this is what I think it says. I think it says Victoria Mine, Ontario. Clarence Agnew. And I haven't found anything on the back. It's definitely aluminum. That's a cool token. Man, it's been a while since I got a nice token. That's awesome. So that awesome token was right there. Boy, I got another really nice high tone. That's, yeah, that's seeming like silver dime or something. Oh, it's getting, it's getting higher. It's actually more in the quarter range all of a sudden. Well, that's pretty cool. Back to back live digs. Hope this one turns out like the other one. Something cool. Well, I see something. Oh, <laughs> you know what that is? That's an old comb. And it even has writing on it. Boy, for whatever reason, I don't dig a lot of these. So it seems to say, Professor Long's Magnetic Comb. <laughs> That's neat. So this comb turned out to be pretty neat. I guess they sold it to cure headaches, dandruff, and balding. But it's not actually magnetic, even though it's in the name. And I guess they had salesmen that would go around selling them to everybody. 
that's pretty cool. So I just dug this thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe the top? Is it the top to some post or? Huh, I don't know. What do you guys think that one is? Well, there's a file. Man, we're getting just about everything out of this site. I think I just got my first suspender. Cool. I haven't got one of those here yet. Doesn't look like it's too fancy. I think I'm just gonna keep going. Man, I got another suspender. This one says Katie. What was that? Let's see if I can focus it in there. That looks like an iron drawer pull. Man, there's just all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, I do believe that's part of a pocket knife. Crazy. We're gonna find everything. <laughs> I think I found a great big pen or a brooch. <laughs> the letter D. Dang. That's weird. I can't believe how many spins are coming out of here. I think that one's just plated really well again. I don't think it's sterling. It's ringing a little low again for sterling, I think. I will throw something up there if it's, it turns out to be sterling, though. Yep, horseshoe. So that in, that divot right there, that's the cellar. And let's see if I can maybe outline the actual, you see those rocks? That's the actual foundation. A lot smaller. <laughs> that other building was for sure the outbuilding. But how many times have I made that mistake? Or how many times have you made that mistake? You're like, oh, there's nothing here. It was just an outbuilding. And you didn't find the actual house. Guess you learn something every time. Hey, we can pretend it's Oak Island. Is it a latch off a chest? Could it be? Should it be? Dang, there's an ornate little piece. That's awesome. Huh. Not what I was expecting to pull up, that's for sure. We got the big spoon. All right, that style is a garter clip. Man, this place just keeps on giving. Another buckle. That's so cool. Well, that's all the time I got for tonight. So the big building's down there. And actually there ended up being a few different little buildings in here. That was awesome. I mean, that was a little bit of everything. Coin, token, silverware, buckles, <laughs> buttons, suspender, weird stuff. That was awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll probably have to come back here with my big coil and just sweep this whole field. I just kind of did most of the main areas around the structures tonight. This is just an after work hunt, so this is only a few hours. That was amazing. So Dinway got here before I did. We're back. Remember I said I was gonna come with my big coil and sweep? Oh, there I am. Man, he's been digging some iron. Look at that oh, stuff. A whole bunch of it. But I did get a couple other cool little pieces. A wedge, horseshoe, chain. I think it's a rosette. Oh, dude, that is a nice one. You probably like this one, too. Cool, man. And I didn't break this. Came out in two different holes next to each other. Another fake sterling spin. There's a helen on it or something. Dang. 
I think I ended up, I dug a real, you didn't see it, but I dug a real silver one yesterday too. Oh, yeah. After you left. <laughs> silver plated. All, all over here, so there's like, there was a little hasp lock catch in that hole there where the, I think that was like their shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so probably did all their work on the horses in here. This is where all these tools came from. Dang, man. That's some cool iron. Okay, well, it's a little slow going in the field in between the different structures, of course, but there's a Hickory brand suspender button. So I was swinging, and I think I accidentally hit a bird with my coil. He was sitting on these eggs. How crazy is that? Man, it is crazy the amount of silverware we're getting at this site. There's a fork. That with all them spoons. I just need a knife. Now that is some silverware. It says a merchant's hotel on it. Dang. Isn't that pretty? Wow. That is a monster. I got another spoon. This is just so weird. There's only one other place I've dug this much silverware. That last spoon turned out to be silver. How awesome is that? Nice little brass buckle. Well, I covered some massive ground with that big coil and did come up with a few cool pieces of silverware. But uh, yeah, this site's just about depleted. I think that's it for the night. I'm gonna go scout something, hopefully find something else to dig for tomorrow night. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.